Alrighty guys, good evening to you all. It is 11.30 here this evening in Columbus, Ohio. This is going to be a review video. Um, I'm going to review Duolingo. A lot of people have asked me to review this application uh, many times in the past, but I just didn't get a chance to um, really sit down and use the uh, program. But um, I recently uh, decided to just go ahead and try it out for Swedish. And I must say, I really do like it. It's really good, um, very useful, and um, it's very repetitive, which will help you to uh, remember a lot of the vocabulary that, that, do, that you will come across. So I'm going to just show you guys how it's laid out. I know many of you don't, don't know about this, probably haven't heard of it, so... Um, so let's see. So yeah, as I said, um, I decided to do this for Swedish. And basically, this is what it looks like. Um, you have basics. What is that? Basics. You have the basics, basics two, phrases, food, animals. They just give you a variety of things to uh, learn. So once you, basically this color here, the orange color is basically telling you that you've completed everything there. Um, you went through everything there, but you can all always go back and redo them. You can strengthen, like here it says, no weak words, uh, but brains, it's saying no weak words. I don't have any weak words here in this section, but it says, but brains aren't perfect. This skill may lose strength over time. So you can actually come here and review what you went through before. I thought that was pretty cool. Um... Then these here, starting from food, I haven't really um, went through those yet. I think I, well, yeah, one out of five. So I'll go ahead and do this, show you guys how it works. Um, and it's free, by the way. Let's go to food. So I did lesson one, and then we'll start here with lesson two. So, they asked me which of, which, which of these is a fruit. So, first one. En frukt. En frukt. They say it out loud for you. Then you check it and see if it's right. Bam. I'm right. I'm right. Which of these is sugar? Which of these is sugar? Socke. 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 Okay. Which of these is a breakfast? Is it pasta in Yorugube, in frukost, or et vin? En frukost. En frukost. Yeah. Which of these is a cheese? So, it's easy to identify these. You, you know, you got pictures. So, um... En ost. And most. Yeah. Which of these is which of these is food? This one. Mod. 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 Yeah. And these words. Oh. So they give you a sentence here, they ask you to translate this sentence in English. Type in English. Y'all get to lunch. I am eating lunch. I am eating lunch. Great. Which of these is pasta? Pasta. How do you say cheese? Oost. See how they do that? All that repetition? No picture this time. See, I remember that from the picture. I actually didn't even know how to say cheese before this review in uh, Swedish. I just learned it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Translate this sentence. The boy eats lunch. So, the boy. Pojken. See how they say it when you choose it? Et. Et. And frukost. Frukost. Oh, what am I doing? I went too fast. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Don't mean the pasta. So he, they are eating pasta. They are eating pasta. Right? Okay. Is this right? All right. Hone. Hone de frucos. Um, let's see. I don't know. This is breakfast. She's eating breakfast. She's. See, they, um, they noticed that, uh, that I got, I, I chose the wrong one for lunch. I chose breakfast instead of lunch. So they see how they used it there to get more practice on it. Sugar is food. Ooh, sugar is food. Um, so let's see. So okay. So okay. I'll add more. The child eats fruit. Uh, the child eats fruit. Um, barn and at uh, uh, oh, what was that word? Oh, 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 oh. See, they just showed me this word for fruit. Uh oh. Ooh. Wait, wait. Um. Uh oh. I can't remember the word for fruit. Not good. Not good. That's all good though. Let's see. Fruit. Oh my. Oh, it's Barnet. Not Barnin. <laughs> Man, okay. We eat food. V. At more. Tap the pears. Wine. V. It. D. Pasta. Mini. Mini. Mom. Okay, I had to try to translate this sentence. You can always go back and listen again. So this says the man has sugar and coffee. Am I right? The man has sugar and coffee. Okay. She eats breakfast on at the Frukost. Uh, I eat cheese and eggs. Jag äter ost, ost. och ägg. I eat lunch. Jag ja. äter, äter lunch. lunch. They eat fruit. Dom. Äter. Frukt. See how that repetition? It's really good, man. It helps you to uh, retain those vocabulary words. See, look, which one of these is breakfast? They know they know that I messed up and uh, chose the wrong word for, for us. What did I choose? I think I chose, oh, I chose breakfast instead of lunch for that one. So you see how they brought me back to this point? This is breakfast. Okay. This is pasta. Pasta. Cool. So they give you a little chart here. A weekly chart. So for me. Friday, I was really busy. I, I was out of town Friday, so I didn't have time to do it. So that's why I have three X's there. I got back here Sunday night, and today, Monday, is my first day back. It was my first day back on Duolingo. So they give you these marks here. You get on the street. So you see, if I'd have stayed consistent, then I'd have been on a one, two, three, four, five. I'd have been on a six day streak. So that's pretty cool. And then they um, they remind you too. It's it's funny. Like if if you haven't been on for a day or two, they'll like send you an email. Literally, 
and, and, and remind you that it's important to practice. So it, it's, it's, it's good stuff. It's good. All right. So continue. So that was two out of five. I'm not going to do any more. Just show you guys how it's laid out. But that's basically what it is. So like I said, it's a lot of repetition. It's not gold yet because I still have to finish. I have two out of five. And uh, yeah, and then you see this at the bottom. You have practice weak skills. Basically, um, I can show you that real quick. You practice your weak skills. Like some basically some words that you missed. Um, you may have missed when you were t you know going through this exercise. They keep track of that, so you can go back and practice. So um, I think this was woman or something. Oh, woman, plural. Man, Queen not is the woman. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. You guys didn't see this. Then they give you this to listen. Good for comprehension. So they got the they got the normal speed here, and they got the turtle speed, which would be slower. Or. So, it'd be like this. Yep, all right. Flickan. Okay, uh, so this will be girl. Men. 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 What is that? Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> apple. An apple. Vi är pojkar. Han. Han är ett man. Men. Han är Flickan har en bok. Woman. So this is plural. Be careful. This is plural. This is plural. Flickan läser meny. Oops, oops, hold on. Meny. Ett meny. A boy is eating an apple. I guess this one. They are women. De är kvinnor. Tre. Dricker. Tre. Läser. So there it is. So that was just practicing the weak skills, the things that I missed in the past. So that's all there is to it, to Duolingo. Um, I, like I said, I'm still new at this. I'm just reviewing what I've uh, covered, 
I went through so far with the shop. What is this? Power ups. Streak freeze. Streak freeze allows your your streak to remain in place for one full day of inactivity. Twenty. Hmm. Not sure about these. But um, yeah, that is Duolingo. I think you can do up to two languages at one time. I have Spanish on my account as well. Um, but yeah, fun application, very good for vocabulary, building up structure as well. So yeah, if you have an iPhone, um, you should definitely check it out uh, for whatever language you're learning. They have quite a few languages on this application. So that is it for this review. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know otherwise. Thanks for viewing, and uh, you guys have a good night. See ya.